Good morning. Today is day four of our Camino Portuguese, Porto to Santiago. Uh, beautiful day, hotter than the last couple days. It's going to be a high of 28 today. We have a very short day today, eight kilometers. We have to stop in this Vienna, I can't remember what it's called. We have to stop there to see a pharmacist to see if we could get more medication for Aurora's epilepsy. Do you want to talk, Aurora? I had another seizure in she the shower. An, she had another seizure. That's two seizures in the shower in the past nine, nine days. days. So we decided to... We had a conversation with her neurologist back in Canada and her neurologist has increased her medication, but that means the medication that she has will only last her 14 more days and it'll take us more than 14 days to finish our Camino because we've decided that if we're going to continue we're only going to go about 10 to 12 kilometers a day and rest. I don't so like that. Idea. She does not like that but I tried getting her to go up to 15 to at least 15 a day and then she was like, no, then we're going home. I tried my best. Yeah, so we're gonna go about 10 a day, sleep in a little bit, and let the early birds pass us, and uh, go slow. Rest lots, and uh, see how things go. So there is supposed to be a place in this town that we're going to that could potentially give her a new prescription that she would would allow her to complete the Camino. So if we can't, I'm not sure what we'll do. We might just have to skip ahead to the last hundred and finish the Camino of the last hundred to Santiago and then head home. So fingers crossed that this works out for us, but our Camino will be kind of Determ determined by what happens here in this town but we're gonna go slow today enjoy it so we'll have lots of time to take video anything else I still don't like how short we're, the walk will be yeah she's made that clear but I've made it very clear and I'll I've made it clear to. and I made it clear so we'll see so, come along with us. This is where we stayed for the last two nights. And it is probably one of our absolute favorite hotels on the road so far. It is amazing. The woman there that runs it is one of the most beautiful, kind people I have ever met in my life. And we're sad to leave it. The lady said, um, her name's Fatima, and she said that it was her great-grandfather's house. And uh, she's renovated it and now turned it into an albergue or hotel or hostel for pilgrims. And it's beautiful inside. Really pretty. But what makes it nice is the host. She's beautiful too. She's one of the sweetest souls we've ever met. Yeah. <laughs> Already gone in. And 
it's 9.15. Let's go in, check it out. Laura's got too many photos on her phone, so she's trying to quickly move them onto a USB. Doing my best. Doing her best. So we're chilling here, having juice, and relaxing. Yeah. This is my view, the truck. That's the church we were just in, which is beautiful, but we did not get a stamp because I think the priest has to give the stamp and he wasn't there. Yeah, the cleaning lady said, no, no, no. So we left. Yeah. It was cute church though. Just making our way through this little village. Cute. All these stone buildings and walls. Oh. We were warned about the climb out of that city or that town, that it's all uphill and it truly is. It really is. <laughs> we are taking a little break. My calves are burning right now. Oh God, it's tough. We are just gonna sit here in this little monument area in the shade, give our calves a bit of a break before we continue the climb. It's a tough one getting out of there. It's just like straight up. Mm -hmm. It hurts. You have to do a lot of self-talk. <laughs> yeah. Lots of self-talk. Yeah. <laughs> and Aurora's still trying to move photos. I know. It's, 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 it's. Uh, it's, 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 it's. I just want to take photos, man. <laughs> but my phone hates me, so. Okay. We're going to rest for a minute before we continue. I think the road starts heading down now. We climbed up and now we go down. And we go down. I think this is our next little town we're stopping at or going through. We'll see as we get closer. Okay, this is now our new path. We're off the busy road and onto a path. There's lots of broken glass on this, so you have to be careful. And we're going down to that road. I think it's supposed to be a shortcut. But, yeah, there's lots of broken glass. And this is where we're heading for our next coffee break. Right by the water. I'm not sure who developed this path, but it's pretty dangerous. I hate it. Straight down. I swear to God, I'm going to die coming down this hill. <laughs> so, in the distance there is a bridge. It's a kilometer long. And as you guys probably already know, I hate bridges. 
absolutely hate it. There's, it's a train bridge, a car bridge, and a pedestrian bridge. This is mom's biggest fear. It's been my biggest fear. So what I've heard is that a lot of people don't like crossing this bridge either because there's not a lot of railing for pedestrians. So they take a cab across. That's what we're going to do. I'm going to call a cab and take me across. <laughs> it's worth my five euro. <laughs> the dirt path has turned into a sand path. It means we're closer to a beach. That makes me happy. Okay, we made it to the little town. Well, actually, it's a good sized city. And uh, we're on the hunt for this medical office that is our only hope for a prescription. So we're on our hunt looking for the direction or trying to find it anyway. It's about a 20 minute walk. So we're gonna see if we can get Aurora more medication. Wish us luck. Okay, Aurora's just waiting her turn, hoping to find someone that speaks English to help us. So, we're just sitting here at the clinic, and I think they're going to get the medication for her. We're just waiting. We're going to have to pay in advance. I think they're having trouble understanding that we need a hundred of the pills and that might be the problem. But I'm going to keep my fingers crossed that it all works out. We're just leaving the medical center. We have a prescription in hand for 56 pills, which is about half of what we needed. They could only give her 56 pills. We needed a hundred. So we are now off to the pharmacy to get that prescription filled. So we're a little bit discouraged, but hopeful that we can go to another health center and get 56 more at another date. To get that uh, prescription, we had to pay 26, 26, 2650 mm -hmm. was the fee I had to pay in cash. So let's find out what the medication will cost us. So pharmacy's just down the end of the block here and we're going to stop there. Well, we are done with the pharmacy. Tell them the good news. I have all my meds, all 112. The pharmacist was kind enough to give her a double prescription. So her prescription was for 100 pills or 112 pills. It was $9.60. Absolutely ridiculous. The same stuff she gets back home. Nine dollars and six or nine euros, sorry. Nine euros. So 10 euros. And she's got her meds. Plus the 26 euros that we paid to get the prescription. Yeah, that was more expensive that was, than this. Yeah. Yeah, somebody just cut us off and then stopped. Yeah, <laughs> So for no reason. For no, yeah. So we're pretty happy. So now we are just finding our way to someplace to eat that doesn't have pastries. I, we can never find a restaurant that has something besides pastries and coffee. We're kind of done with pastries. I love pastries, but like, yeah, I need a break. Yeah, I do too. And it's always the same pastries. Yeah. So, we're looking for somewhere different. Just a sandwich. Nothing special. Just food. But we're on our on the lookout for that and then we're going to uh, check into our hotel
happy we're on a really funky little street and we're just gonna relax we have our own bathroom which is awesome we're always like that Aurora does anyway 